Hello, I'm Joseph Benti. And I'm Diana Ortelli. Southern California has always been known as a region on the go. Transportation helped make Southern California what it is today, and it will make a major contribution to what it'll be tomorrow. And that's what this television series is all about. In this program, I'll say goodbye to my car and take a day trip to San Diego. With the help of Amtrak and an efficient system of mass transit, it will be an adventure that's as environmentally conscious as it is fun. I'll explore the future of transportation in the San Fernando Valley. It's a tale of two transit alternatives. Whichever is chosen will have major implications for the Valley and Los Angeles in the 21st century. The future of our environment is the subject of my look at an innovative recycling technology that's turning worn old car tires into brand new streets and highways. One day we may all be riding on rubber roads. These stories and more on Transit 2000. Union Station is a landmark of L.A.'s past, but recently I went there to experience a glimpse of Southern California's future. I haven't been to San Diego in a long time, so I decided to make the trip south to rediscover the sights and maybe do a little shopping in Tijuana. Now, if I was doing this as usual, I'd be easing into traffic on Interstate 5 going south. It's a trip that should take approximately two hours, depending on traffic. But that that's a big depend. Anybody who knows the I-5 freeway knows it can be Southern California's best example of life in the slow lane. An excursion to San Diego can turn into a nerve-wracking three hours easy. More than that, according to the South Coast Air Quality District, a stop-and-go car trip produces the worst kinds of auto emissions, and that means more smog. So this time, I'm leaving the car behind. Don't worry, I won't be long. Wish me luck. Built in the late 30s, Union Station is one of the last of America's grand railroad terminals. Today, the lobby seems a little quiet, but big changes are in the works. Nearby, the first phase of LA's Metro Rail is nearing completion. New commuter rail lines are set to open soon, and America's national rail system, Amtrak, continues to expand and improve its service in Southern California. It's Amtrak that will carry me on the first leg of my adventure without a car. You'll be boarding through gate letter C, next room over to your right. Thank you very much. And thank you. There are eight round-trip San Diego trains every day. Train travel is hardly a novelty to many people on the East Coast, but for a car-loving Southern Californian like me, it takes a little getting used to. Like knowing I can look out the window and not worry about steering. Passing southbound traffic on the 405, even when it isn't congested, makes the trip seem even faster. Before I know it, I've arrived in San Diego's Santa Fe Station, and my car is 120 miles away. Your trolley ticket uh -huh. and your best map. Thank you. You're welcome. This is the San Diego Railroad Museum in the Amtrak train station. It's a one-stop center for bus and trolley tickets, route information, everything for the carless tourists like me. San Diego has been doing a lot of growing during the past few years. An important part of this growth has been a new and expanded system of buses and trolleys to help tie it all together. For a visitor, catching a trolley couldn't be easier. City Center, a major stop, is just across the street from the Amtrak train station. Like LA's RTD Blue Line, tickets are dispensed by automated machines. A one-day pass costs $4. Fares are on the honor system. But if you're caught on a trolley without one, the fine starts at $45. Electrically powered, the trolley cars are quiet and smooth riding. Only a couple of stops away from city center is San Diego's dramatic new convention center. I've come here for more information about the transit choices in San Diego. The president of San Diego's Convention and Visitor Bureau is Reint Reinders. The reason the trolley system is here in San Diego 
It's because there are people who have a, a future vision of what the transportation network should be here in San Diego when it is completed. We, of course, love the, uh, the mass transit availability uh, for our visitors because it really shows that people do not need to rent a car each time they have to go someplace. During their visit, two or three day visit, a weekend getaway, whatever it may be, there are many things that one could do without using a car transportation and using public transportation. Okay, informed and ready to go, I was eager to stop talking about the great weather and start enjoying it. My first trolley stop was San Diego's Seaport Village, a harborside gathering of 65 specialty shops and 18 restaurants. A stroll on the boardwalk in Seaport Village offers some of the best views of San Diego Bay and a perfect chance to experience a little of that fresh air Rind Rinders was so proud about. Another trolley ride in a short walk took me on another kind of trip, back in time to San Diego's Gas Lamp Quarter, a historic 16-block neighborhood of quaint shops, stylish restaurants, and far from old-fashioned nightlife. Only four blocks away, I found myself in a lively and unpredictable vision of the future, Horton Plaza. Shopping, dining, entertainment, it's all a short walk or convenient bus or trolley ride away. After a couple of hours in San Diego, I have to admit I haven't missed my car at all. The downtown area is easily walkable, and buses and trolleys are available for most of the city's more distant attractions. Regularly scheduled city buses take tourists to SeaWorld. Another public bus takes visitors to San Diego's Balboa Park and the city's world-famous zoo with almost 4,000 animals in a 100-acre tropical garden. Then there is colorful Tijuana, a trolley right away, but on this trip, Tijuana will have to wait. Seeing San Diego really demands more than just a day, but the short-time visitor doesn't give up any of the city's close-by convenience. In the heart of town, there are more than 7,000 hotel rooms, some like this one with spectacular harbor views. My day in San Diego is almost over, but I've still got some more shopping to do. A quaint, privately run trolley takes me to Old Town, the heart of San Diego's Mexican past. <laughs> I take time for a relaxing late lunch in one of the city's best-known restaurants, housed in an 1829 adobe hacienda. And then it's off to my last stop of my San Diego carless adventure. Only a few steps away, it's the colorful Bazar del Mundo in the heart of Old Town. I couldn't imagine a better place to end my busy day in San Diego. And what made it all possible was fast and efficient mass transit, a new generation of the trains, trolleys, and buses that first built Southern California are creating its future. Boy, what a day. I could have used the whole weekend to see everything there is to see in San Diego, but it's time to go home. And the best thing is, I won't be fighting air polluting traffic all the way. With a train, I can breathe easy in more ways than one.